Okay, let's build a two uh, LAN router where we have a router that's connected to two LANs. I'll use 1941 router. I can just hover over to see how many uh, LAN interfaces. I have two, G01 and G00. Okay, so I'll build two LANs. I'll need two switches. I'll take 2960, one for the arts LAN and one for the engineering LAN. In each LAN I need three PCs. I'll take one, two, three. We later gonna give them IP addresses. On the other LAN we will also connect three uh, PCs. Cabling. All cabling is standard. Connect this to any port in the switch. Connect this to any port in the switch. And keep doing the same for all other hosts. The IP addresses were given to you and we will configure now ports and IP addresses. Okay. The Arts LAN is connected to Oh, this is Gigabit Ethernet. We need to select Gigabit Ethernet from the switch. So, we will use the same type of cable but the port type should be what? This is connected to 00, zero the Arts LAN and the ENG LAN is connected to port 01. So, to avoid mistakes, here you can type G01 and you can come here and say G00. So now we know LANs connected. This is Arts LAN and this is ENG LAN. Okay, configuration. We will configure the IP addresses. First we start with the router. We have two ports. We'll configure G00 for the ARTS LAN, which is 192.168.10. Okay, I'll go to the CLI. No. Okay, enable. ConfT. ConfT. Interface G00. What's the IP address? IP address 192.168.10.1. Submit mask 255, 255, 255, 0. No shut. Once we enter no shut, we'll notice the port is changing its state to up. This is going to be the default gateway of the arts LAN. We'll go to the other port now, interface G01, IP address. What's the network address here? 200, what? 200, 0, 0, 0. So we'll go. 200, 0, 0, 1, 255, 255, 255, 0, no shot. Now we configure at least the ports on both LANs, right? For PCs, it's easy to do this. We'll do for sample PCs. I'll configure this. 192, 168, 10, 11. And make sure you set up the right default gateway. If you want to test the connection between the PC and the default gateway, just ping the default gateway in the beginning. Ping 192.168.10.1. Successful ping, so the connection between the PC and the default gateway is working. I'll do the same on the other LAN. Here I'll go and set uh, 200, 0, 0, 11, and the default gateway 200, 0, 0, 1. Again, I can do and I can test the connection or connectivity to the default gateway 200001 successful reply. Good. Okay. Now I need to configure switches with VLANs. Okay. I can go to this one. We said it's going to be 5. Enable. ConfT. Enable. Secret. Class. Let's configure Telnet and console. Line console 0. Password Cisco. Login. Let's configure Telnet. Line VTY 0 to 15. Password Cisco. Login. Exit. Let me encrypt all password. Service. Password encryption. Let me add a banner message. Banner. MOTD warning authorized people only exit we need now to configure the VLAN interface 
conf t interface vlan 1 ip address 192 168 10 5 255 255 255 0 no shot good one important configuration here we need to tell the switch what's the IP address of the default gateway of this LAN okay the command is IB default gateway and the IP address 192.68.10.1 there is no need for the subnet mask in this one now the switch knows the IP default gateway of the, this network so if the switch receives any uh, communication from outside the network it can reply Otherwise, the switch is not aware of the default gateway. So, if I go to the other switch, I can do the same again. CLI, enable, conf t, interface VLAN 1, IP address 200, 005, 255, 255, 255, 0, no shot, exit, IP default gateway, 200 0 0 1 okay exit conf t again sorry we need to configure conf t, uh, conf -t. line vty 0 to 15 passwords cisco login line console 0 password cisco login exit enable secret class why i'm setting the secret password in order to be able to tell net to a switch or a router you need to set management address one which is interface vlan whatever then you need to configure telnet passwords line vty 0 to 15 password you also need to set an enable password if both are set and the enable password is not set, there will be a problem in connecting to the switch to Telnet. So part of the settings needed for a switch is the enable password, provided that the VLAN 1 management interface has been set and the Telnet uh, passwords has been already set. Okay, we also give this switch the default gateway, enable secret. Now, let us try to bring this switch, the... ENG switch from BC0 ping 200.005 maybe first first ping is gonna fail let us see if the second is gonna be successful okay we starting getting replies try again now successful right let me try to turn it to the switch and configure it Telnet 200 0 0 5 Okay, Telnet password is Cisco Enable, the secret password is class I need to change the switch name Conf T, host name ENG We did that Exit Copy, run, start I configured all settings of the switch The ones I needed And using what? Telnet. Now this switch is what? ENG switch. We change the host name. ENG. Let us do the same thing. C try to Telnet to the IOT switch from where? From the BC3. All settings were done by the way. Telnet 192.168.10.5. Cisco is the Telnet password. Enable class is the secret password. Conf T. Let us change the switch name. Host name. Arts. Does that make sense? Okay. Exit. Copy. Run. Start. Good. Now, when I pinged BC3 to the switch, it worked. Can I ping from PC0 to BC3? I think it's going to work. Let me try to do this. Ping 200.0.0.11. Let us see. I'm pinging between two different networks from here to here. It's not inside the same network. Success rate is 80%. Let us try a second time. Success rate is what? Why it was successful? Why? Because this router knows about what? Both 
both networks. Why the router knows about both networks? Because they are both directly connected to the router. Let me show you this. If you go to the router, now this is a new command. Exit. Exit. If you go to the router, show IP route. Show IP route. You are telling the router, please show me your routing table. We said before, the router makes all decisions based on what? The contents of what? The routing table. Look at this one. This is show IP route. You see, you see C here, girls? C. What is C? Look at C here. What is C? Connected. So this router here, look here. 192.168.10.0. It tells you, I know about this network because it's what? It's connected to which port? G00. The router also tells you, I know about 200.000 because it's also what? That's why the ping was successful. Let me show you when the ping fails. Let us now ping. Sorry, let me close this. Let us now ping. Ping. I'm pinging 122.222.222. This is a network somewhere. But does our router know about it? No. What do you expect? Do you see the output now? Destination host what? What does it unreachable means? Unreachable means what? It means the router has no idea about this network. Unreachable. I don't know. If if you want to see here, we'll switch to and use ICM. We'll we'll disable all filters and use ICMB only. Minimize to show everything. I'll go here. Okay. I'll ping again now. And auto capture. Let us see what's happening. See, see where the packet fails. The packet's gonna fail here. Why? Because it goes to the router. The router opens the packet. It checks the destination address. It finds that the destination address is not known, and I have no idea. So the router does not know anything about the destination network. If I delete this, if I delete this. And let me try another one. Okay. Here you see, when, when the message comes back from the router, I can open one here. We can, it, it will say that the destination unreachable. So this is what's gonna happen if you try to use a network destination that your router is not aware of. Our router only knows about two networks. Any other network in the world is not existing, right? If we connect a third network, it will know about it. Of course, we explained how to manually configure what? Networks or how to dynamically uh, configure networks using dynamic routing tables. One thing we forgot to configure the router. G00 is connected to which LAN? Arts. G01 is connected to which LAN? Type. It's an excellent idea. Interface G00. Sorry, conf T first. Interface G00. Description. Good. Description. Arts LAN interface. So now, if you later say show interface G00, it will tell you that this is the Arts LAN what? Interface. Inter -G Interface G01 Description ENG LAN Interface So later you or anyone else If you use a command like this Show Interface G00 for example One of the things you will see here What? Description RSLAN interface. Remember, most of the time network specialists are configuring devices that are away from them. So they need to know these data because if they want to just shut down the RSLAN, they can go to the port and shut down what? The RSLAN. How to shut down the RSLAN, girls? Conf T. Interface G00. Shut. See? Now no one can access what? 
Okay, طيب. Let me go to the router here again. Exit. What command I use to see to show the routing table? Show IP route. Do you see the routes LAN now? Is it available? You only see what? The ANG LAN, right? Because it's down, right? Okay, let me go now. Interface conf T. Interface G00. No shot. Okay, that's LAN is back on now, right? After some time, after a few many seconds, the routing table will be what? Will be uh, updated. Let us see this. Show IP route. You see that? The routing table has been what? 